All right, get ready to try to find uh, Comet Atlas, and ran across this point in my 12-inch Apertura Dipsonian. Yeah, they do believe this is a star cluster. This is full video mode, by the way, not a picture. I think that looks pretty cool. I am running black and white because it does wash out, but this camera I can run. I'm running up 320,000 ISO at 1 13th second shutter speed. That's pretty cool. Thought about taking a picture of it. I might take a couple pictures while I'm doing this. But I want to find that comet one last time with my 12 inch. Tell you what, I'm just going to let this sit here, I think. Try to zoom in a little bit. Not sure what that is. Must be a, either a galaxy or a cluster. You know, there is a blob of stars above the comet. I'm going to get that lucky. I can't see it with my eyes, so I'm going to have to be waving around looking. It's that cluster again. Here's a satellite. Oh, I found it. It's up above that. Look at that tail on that thing yet. I'm at 409,000 ISO in order to find it with a scope. Let it sit there a second. I can't turn my shutter speed down. Let's try that. Turn my ISO down now. Still showing the tail. Pretty neat. We get up about three o'clock in the morning. I'm going to point this scope at uh, Orion, the Horsehead Nebula. Right now it's about 8 o'clock at night. That tail sure is long, ain't it? I want to get rid of some lighting. What stars are that about it? she is. I think we'll move this around see what else we can find. Not real sure what that there is. Just kind of looks like a star but I'm going to turn my ISO down. Digitally zoom in. Yeah it's a star. Closer one. Pretty neat. Must be a binary star there. It's a satellite. Well, look at all them 
stars. This is prime, by the way. One little tiny section of the sky. Another satellite. And another one. And another one. And another one. There's one there. Down closer to the horizon. What I want to do is show you the neighbor's lights, which is about a mile away. That's a car. I'm going to have to focus it and refocus. About a mile away. Just to give you an idea what a 12 inch Dibsonian does. Them lights are bright. That silo right there. One mile away. Almost a mile. Maybe eight tenths of a mile. Pretty cool, huh? I'm going to have to refocus. Let's start looking at stars again. Another satellite. This is a real slow moving satellite. That's an airplane. Alright, what I'm going to do is hook my uh, Dark Knight 50mm lens up, try to catch some meteorites. We have the Halley's Comet coming through the remnants of it, which is causing a meteor shower. So I'm going to throw them in this video too. This will probably be the last time I film this comet, especially with 12-inch telescope. It's setting low on the horizon. There's no way I can see that with my unaided eye. Found the Andromeda Galaxy, still at 409,000 ISO video mode. 
I can try to turn it down a little. I've got the scope pointing almost straight up in the air. That's the furthest object the unaided eye can see. And you can barely see it, but if you know right where to look, you can see a little haze there. That's pretty cool. I'm at 256,000 ISO right now. Should do is try to take a picture. I moved out of black and white into color, and that's 102,000 ISO for the Andromeda. Pretty neat. All right, there's the horse head nebula in Orion. Straight through the telescope, turn the ISO down a little. I'm at 204,000. Try to focus it better. Take a couple pictures. Now keep in mind, this telescope does not track, so I got to keep it at a real fast shutter, which it does pretty good in itself. There's the black and white. Pretty neat. Exploded star. Now I'm going to move it to a couple other things and then I want to put the camera back on for hopefully catch more meteorites. We're going up to not sure. <laughs> what that is. Oh, that's Jupiter. Let me change the color. I don't know if I got it focused enough to be able to see the storm on there. I don't have any eyepieces in, so this is zoomed as it would get. Now if I were to turn up my turn my shutter speed down, we'll be able to pick up the moons right there. Here's the Pleiades, a cluster of stars. Of 
pretty neat. And Orion. There's the Orion Nebula in uh, Constellation Orion. His belt and that through the 50 millimeter lens. We'll move up to the Pleiades. That's the Pleiades, that little group of stars. That's Jupiter. <laughs> 